How to Go Garden, I'm Scarlett. Today I have something really, really cool. Inside this little itty bitty bit of dried up grass, inside this little bit of dried up grass is a mason bee. And I'd like to show you guys this. We came upon it today while we were pulling off some of the wood. This little ball here, this is his pollen. And way down in here, there's a bit of wax. Over here by my finger, here, there's a little bit of wax. So when designing your garden, it's a really great idea to think about your bees, not just uh, in the summer and the flowers you're going to plant for them, but also in the winter and where they're going to stay. If you have a pile of old leaves or something, or some straw, or a mason house, there's all kinds of things. And we're going to tackle this in a few later episodes where I show you guys how to make bee hotels and bee homes and stuff, because these guys need somewhere to live when it's cold and in the evening, because they don't have a colony. They find somewhere to hide and they sleep all night long and only when the sun comes out the next day will they come out and then forage in your garden. Maybe we should name him. He's so cute. You can pick them up by the way, they don't really sting. You just gently put your finger in front of them and they will crawl into your finger. It helps if you're not freaked out, you don't worry. But they don't sting, they're very docile. Um, and they're huge and they're they're actually the first bees to come out and they are all by themselves they're salt That's it. They're solitary bees also known as mason bees um, But they are all by themselves So they'll find somewhere to hide at night and come back out in the next day when the Sun is shining Thanks for watching. I'm Scarlett, and I'll see you in the next episode Toodaloo. What I want to do is make sure that I put in enough straw or hay that it'll kind of capture the wind so it won't become a little wind tunnel And then I'm just gonna stick him right in the middle so down here. How cute is that? How about here? Amongst the rest of the hypotufa pots where nobody will come along and mistakenly mess with them. There we go. We rescued a bee. I mean, actually, we messed with a bee and then we put him back, but he was quite content to stay there in the first place. Anyway, see you later. Toodaloo.